Go ahead and call the night's meeting order. Let's have the uh, roll call. Kessler. Walters. Here. Rarden. Here. Hewart. Here. Binner. Here. Parton. Here. Crum. Here. Thompson. Here. Nice invocation to be given by Pastor David Petter of the West Hayesville Baptist Church. Let's pray. Our Father God, we uh, know this is Thanksgiving month. And so we pause this evening to give you thanks for you, the source of everything good in our lives. And Father, we want to thank you just for the opportunity that we have to be here this evening. We know, Father, it's a gift from you to have health and strength and ability just to be here. May we never take it for granted. May we never take any of your gifts for granted. Father, we thank you for the community in which we live. That's a gift from you. We thank you, Father, for this community. It's a special community. We thank you for the good people that are part of this community, people that are like you, people who are generous and willing to share. We thank you, Father, for our mayor, for the members of this city council, for the things that they give to help people in our community. And, Father, we just pray that you will give them wisdom tonight in this meeting, that they might make uh, decisions that will really help to make our community an even better place in which to live. So guide them, Father. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Okay, we'll go to item presentation and approval of minutes, A minutes of the of October 22nd, 2018. Who would like to do with them? Anyone? Mr. Rick? I make motion to accept the minutes of October 22nd, 2018. Second. No second to approve the minutes, October 22nd, 2018. <coughs> Discussion? Question. Walters? Here. Yes. Garden? <laughs> yes. Ewart? Yes. Spinner? Yes. Parton? Yes. Crum? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Also, so you know, we have the uh, new equipment in, so hopefully everyone can hear better. Uh, as you can see, the microphones have changed and the pictures, I think, look a little clearer, don't they? I don't know. If it's not, we'd, we'd like to hear about it. So all the new equipment is in except for what it goes to Channel 7, which will be updated here pretty quick. With that, we'll move on then to the item one, citizens to be heard. I have nothing on the agenda. Item two, approval license and bonds. A, liquor license renewal. MSI LLC, doing business as Main Street Liquor Outlet 237 North Main. Mr. Crump? I make a motion that we approve the, license, the liquor license renewal for MSI LLC, uh, DBA Main Street Liquor Outlet at 237 North Main. Second. Most second to approve the renewal of liquor license for Main Street Liquor. Discussion? Question? Walters? Yes. Rodney? Yes. Hewitt? Yes. Dinner? Yes. Parton? Yes. Crum? <coughs> yes. Thompson? Yes. We'll move to item three, which is introduction of ordinance and resolutions. And we have A, an ordinance having special assessments on certain property to pay the cost of internal improvements in the city of Hazel, Kansas, as previously authorized by resolution. 17, 13, 14, 15, 16 in the city and provided for the collection of special assessments. With this, we have to have a public hearing uh, to schedule a bond sale in mid-January. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have regarding these projects. At this point, uh, this is still all owned by one developer. I don't think there's any individuals in this addition over there unless they've sold one lot or something by that. I think they've sold five lots to a builder. Okay. But they're all right. owned by two different yeah, the entities. same builder and developer and builder are basically the same ones that have okay. done country lakes in the past over there. So this is the same one at this point. So there are no individuals that I know of that have bought lots over there at this point. So if there's no question then we would need a motion to approve the ordinance the levy the special assessments. No one wants to make it. No, I can't make it. Anyone want to make it? No one want to do it? Anybody? 
<laughs> Mr. Crown, we're still we're still in A, right? We're still in A, yes, approving of the ordinance. Okay. I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the ordinance as uh, presented. Second. Well, second to approve the ordinance as presented on the country Lexus Lexus X assessments. Discussion? Question. Walters? Yes. Rodden? Yes. Ewart? Yes. Finner? Yes. Parton? Yes. Crum? Yes. Thompson? Yes. We'll be next meeting, you think? I'm sorry? We'll be next meeting. You think you'll be back by next meeting? Oh, uh, December 10th. December 10th? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think you probably meet. First meeting in there. December then. Right. Okay. Very good. Sorry. Great. Thank you. We'll then move on to item B, which is a resolution authorizing the offering for sale of general obligation temporary notes series A 2019 of the city of Hayesville, Kansas. These are the temporary notes that we are going to use to be able to uh, develop the remaining lots in Timber Creek. So we would need the resolution there. Mr. Crump. I'll make a motion that we approve a resolution authorizing the offering for sale of general obligation temporary notes series A 2019 of the city of Hayesville, Kansas as presented. Second. Motion second to <coughs> approve the resolution authorizing the temporary notes on Timber Creek. Discussion? Question. Walters? Yes. Garden? Yes. Ewer? Yes. Finner? Yes. Parton? Yes. Crum? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Thank you. That's covered. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're taking bids on the same date, December 10th at 11 a.m. Um, we'll check those for accuracy and award the, the underwriter with the lowest true interest cost as we normally do. Uh, you all have been through the process a few times already, uh, but that will also happen on December 10th. So we'll look for a good low interest rate. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Item four, notice of communication, the A governing body announcements. Everybody have any announcements? Mr. Crump? Uh, I wanted to mention that uh, the schools that uh, winter sports are starting, I just want to w wish all the students that are going out for different sports and activities good luck. Um, and then at the library, uh, on the 16th, there at 10 a.m. is a book look boogie. Uh, it's a thing with parents as teachers. Um, then on the 19th at 6 p.m. they'll be having a movie night and they're watching Star Wars The Last Jedi. And the 22nd, uh, which is Thanksgiving, the library will be closed. Uh, their next Meeple Mayhem is on November 24th and that's at 10.30. On the 26th they're having a book discussion. And the next library board meeting is the 29th at 7 o'clock. And just so a reminder everybody that story time is every Tuesday and Thursday at 10.30. That's all I got for the library. Very good. I've got the uh, Senior Center Activity Announcements. Wednesday, November 14th at 8 a.m., they have Pantera Bread. Friday, November the 16th at 1 o'clock, they have Bible Study. Monday, November the 19th, 10 a.m., they have Chair Yoga, costs $2. Wednesday, November 21st, 12.30, Turkey Bingo, $2. Thursday, November 24th, and Friday, November 25th, center is going to be closed and no meals for Thanksgiving. They also want to do many thanks to the campus theater group troop that held their annual trick-or-treat so the kids can eat food drive and donate the cans to the senior center emergency food bank. If you need more information please contact the uh, senior center. Seeing no other additional announcements we'll move on then to item B which is a memo from uh, Zach, about the regional incentives that we had presented to us last meeting, uh, giving you information why we don't feel that it is really a good reason to be doing these. Mr. Crump? I was just curious, did we send this to Bishler's by chance? Not yet, but I was, I was giving you first view. But the, I've been in communication with them. Um, I'll, tomorrow I will send it their way. I, thought, I figured they might be here this evening, so that's why I've given you first view. Okay. No other questions. We'll move to item C. There's the invitation if you'd like to attend the Sedgwick County Fire Department recruitment graduation. And then D is the email from Cox regarding network negotiations going on. With that, we'll move to old business, which we have none, and then other business. A consideration agreement with Sedgwick County regarding the 
Meridian Pedestrian Bridge. As you know, previously we've had several discussions about this. We had agreed that we would would uh, put money into that. Uh, we did not know at that time, so we do now know what the amount of money that um, they would like and it makes sense for us to put in, which is 20% of the 20% that the uh, county is putting in, which comes to an amount of $137,000. Fifty-three dollars and fifty-five cents, because it has gone to bids. So we need a motion to approve that agreement for the twenty percent. Mr. Crump. Uh, well, first off, uh, where are we going to take these funds out of? Capital improvements. Capital improvements. We've got budgeted there. Okay. Um, so I make a motion that we uh, approve the agreement uh, as presented for the. Uh, Walk over bridge on Meridian. Second. Most second to approve the agreement with the county for the pedestrian bridge across the big ditch on Meridian. Discussion? Question? Walters? Yes. Burden? Yes. Hewitt? Yes. Penner? Yes. Parton? Yes. Crum? Yes. Thompson? Yes. One thing on this bridge is the funds were coming from excess Lample funds this year. It looks like there's going to be plenty of money excess, so it should truly come a reality in 19 to get that bridge done then. So we'll be looking forward to that. That will then move on to the next item in the agenda, which is consider agreement with the Sedgwick County for our senior center. As you see, the amount that they're doing the same that we're doing in the past, we just need to make sure we have this agreement, which is the previous agreement that we've had with them all the way along in previous years. Mr. Rudd? Uh, if there's no other discussion, I make a motion we uh, sign the agreement with Sedgwick County uh, in reference to the Senior Center. Second. Most second to approve the agreement with the County <coughs> on Senior Center. Discussion? Question. Walters? Yes. Rudd? Yes. Ewart? Yes. Finner? Yes. Parton? Yes. Crum? Yes. Thompson? Yes. We'll then move to item C, which is the presentation of the quarterly economic development update. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Uh, you have before you the third quarter economic development report. Uh, business activity was fair. Uh, four new businesses starting up, a couple, uh, or just one, uh, or I'm sorry, two uh, home occupations, the rest. Uh, uh, we're, one was in our industrial park and then Schenkel Mortuary over here across the street. Uh, we, next quarter we should have a few more businesses that come through but just kind of snuck into the fourth quarter. Uh, home construction was up. Uh, again, we had seven new home builds, I believe, last quarter, uh, about 1.1 or 1.2 million. So we're staying fairly consistent throughout the year. I'm excited to see what the, the final tally is for, for the year. Um, I left the Build Hayesville and Gold Star uh, in the report, just to kind of go along with the, the home incentives. Um, Gold Star, there was two separate programs. There was the Gold Star new home building initiative, as well as the Gold Star um, existing home purchase agreement, which was paired with a, a hack membership and a, a pool pass. The Gold Star new home build is a tax rebate. The Gold Star home incentive came out of the uh, um, capital improvements fund. So just to kind of differentiate from the two. Uh, build Hayesville, there should be, I think, three or four more houses that come in. They just weren't complete by the, uh, um, when the, the county went to go look at the taxes, so they were still reporting as vacant land. Uh, so I, even though we're going to lose the five Gold Star payments, uh, next year we'll still have about 37, 38, or I'm sorry, about 37 uh, payments, and those will, a lot of those will still be uh, at either 100% or 80%. Um, New resident surveys, again, another reason why uh, not to necessarily subsidize existing tax base. We, we're up an, on an upward trend of people buying homes as opposed to renting here in Hayesville. Uh, again, the reasons for moving to Hayesville, uh, family 52%, school 42%, and work 38%. Uh, I've given you some kind of some quotes to kind of go along with that. Uh, <coughs> Wampo, we're kind of finishing up with our bicycle pedestrian implementation study, as well as the, the transit feasibility study. In the coming months, we'll be 
discussing or having conversations with uh, Derby and Mays uh, and Wichita Transit about, about a possible partnership. This is a regional approach and uh, there could be some federal funds available to kind of kickstart our, our transit program. But the numbers did come back favorable. Again, any of these studies are available upon request. I have them in PDF if you'd like to have me email them to you. Uh, the Hazel Land Bank, uh, big news. Uh, out of the 30, we started with 39, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, 36 lots. And we have a, a closing scheduled for Thursday for the for 14 uh, pending, lots pending. And we'll have one remaining lot over there. So we'll be completely almost cashed out of River Forest, at least on the developed side. Uh, Timber Creek Estates, uh, we've got 39 lots available. I have four lots are pending, so I've, uh, those are verbal commitments. We're not taking any kind of funding, but one of those is the, the larger 1.2 acre lot uh, that's with, uh, we're, I think we priced it at 50,000. Uh, our ad campaign for this, uh, we switched hellohazel.com uh, marketing for lots for sale from River Forest to Timber Creek. So uh, feel free to go to the lots for sale. You can see our lot sale pricing. So uh, at least verbally, I've met Mr. Crumb's quota for the, for the first two years, I think. So uh, our marketing campaign is still and remains strong. Uh, we we've, we've kind of find, still fine tuning everything, but uh, we're through HFI, we're, we're also developing a, a brochure. It's been about 14 years since we had a brochure to kind of uh, highlight what's going on in Hazel, not only what we have to offer in housing, industrial and business, but also our school district. Uh, special events, cruising days this summer went really well. Uh, great participation. Again, hundreds of cars. Uh, we had market vendors out and active participation in our, our blacksmith shop uh, and other, I believe the bank and the, the warehouse too. Uh, our incentives, you know, just to list what we, we, we are offering incentives, you know, new home builds, we have our, our tree program, abatements for new property in, in our industrial complex. Uh, that, those are again available upon request. Uh, we do have rent assistance available by request. And uh, you know it's labeled as an incentive, but our, our, our land bank lots, like in River Forest and Timber Creek, those are priced about 50% below market value. So that, that's an incentive right there, just uh, right out the gate and what we're offering. Uh, Wichita State, WSU Tech, uh, we had the ribbon cutting. It is official. Uh, uh, so just some great things already coming out of that is uh, the HVAC program uh, to begin next year. Program enrollment will be from 8 to 16 people. I mean, they can start their junior year and walk with a diploma and a certificate for HVAC. That's, that's, uh, that's kind of life-changing stuff. Uh, we're working with workforce for after graduation. That way there's hopefully some, some companies ready to pick them up. Uh, we, we've actually just had a uh, workforce meeting to possibly pl or plan a possible job fair here coming up. There'll be more details uh, to follow. And then the free tiny little libraries that Wichita State will be administering. So look for those to, to, to be coming to a ward near you. So I have any, any clarification, comments? Questions for Zach Favor? Yeah. Thank you. I think the big one, as you said, was we'll be almost out of lots develop a lot of river forest <clears throat> um, that has turned in so we have all of the uh, spatials and, and our debt being paid plus um, we're going to end up with probably close to seventy eighty thousand dollars still in the bank from uh, lot sales over there so it's really turned out real, real well for us hopefully uh, timber creek will do the same thing that then we'll move on to item seven department reports a ministry of service as well city offices will be closed next thursday and friday for thanksgiving and the day after that'll be november 22nd and friday november 23rd and that's janie's announcement you cover today. janie also okay. yeah please chief uh, good evening mayor and council um, our visiting officer this evening is officer aaron watkins um, he's currently assigned to the patrol section, and he is working the swing shift, so you may see him at night, you may see him during the day, he's here all the time, so, um, depending on what day it is. Um, also, our Coffee with the Cop this month is tomorrow morning from 7 to 8.30. It'll be at WSU Hayesville um, over here on Stewart, so please stop by there and say hi and have some coffee. Thanks. Tony? 
Good evening, Mayor and Council. Also on November 22nd, 23rd, the Public Works Department will be closed for Thanksgiving. Uh, for any water or wastewater emergencies, you can contact Hazelwood Dispatch at 529-5912. Thank you. Georgie, recreation. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Also on Thursday for Thanksgiving, we will be closed. On Friday, we'll have special hours. We'll be open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then back to normal hours on Saturday. Yeah. yeah, they haven't seen the new park over there is open for their use. Yeah. <laughs> you might be a little big for it. When the snow melts. <laughs> you may take your children over here or grandchildren. Item eight appointments, we have none. Item nine, off agenda <coughs> will be heard. We have no citizens here. Item ten, executive session, we have none. Item eleven, bills be paid. A bill be paid for the first half of November. Ms. Zewert. Yes, I'd like to make a motion that we pay the first half of November bills. Second. <coughs> Move the second to pay the first half of November bills. Discussion? <coughs> question. Walters? Yes. Rarden? Yes. Hubert? Yes. Finner? Yes. Parton? Yes. Crum? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Item 12 and Senator, do we have nothing? Item 13, council items. A council concerns. Council? Concerns, Jeff? Mr. Rarden? Well, it's not necessarily a concern, but it's been, I've been approached. Uh, I, and I don't believe, you know, we got the crosswalk put in there by Marlin uh, because of the bike path and that type of stuff. I've been approached uh, by a couple of citizens that we would like to have a crosswalk uh, right by the post office, right by the WSU, uh, where the park, and where you come up off of the bike path out of the park over to uh, WSU to cross the road there for safe passage for because it's a long stretch from Rex uh, out that way to Grand, and they would just make a nice a little crosswalk. Uh, I don't really know uh, what the cost is involved, but I know that the one uh, there on Marlin gets used quite a bit, and it's really kind of nice. And actually, we've got, uh, I had uh, one of the city council members from Derby came over last week and looked at our crosswalk down there they're looking at it so I'd kind of like to maybe research and see what it would cost to get a I think like I said right there by the by the uh, post office that area across the WSU uh, campus right there and all that one on the farther to the west well you know we come out of the park and I just went to the east of the bridge there okay east of the bridge right okay you know just so Somewhere okay. along in it, somewhere along in there. I'm not, you know. I mean, just as long as there's a crosswalk there, you know, because you're coming off the bike path, you come up to Grand, you know, then you can go across Grand, and then you got the sidewalk there, and then you're right by WSU access to uh, the uh, center over there, and access to the south side of the road, you know. So, Mike. Just kind of look into that and see what yeah. it would cost. We can, we can look and see if they might. That one may be a little different than what yours is down there because of the amount of additional traffic I think right. that may go there, whether it may be required for some type of a traffic study or something there. But we can look at it. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's all I had. Yeah. Other items, Council? Seeing none, we'll go to item B. We don't have any Council action request updates that I know of. So we'll go right to 14 adjourn. Ms. Ewer? I'd like to make a motion that we adjourn tonight's meeting. Second. Sure. Motion and second to adjourn. Discussion? Question. Walters? Yes. Burden? Yes. Hubert? Yes. Finner? Yes. Parton? Yes. Crum? Yes. Thompson? Yes.